On Monday, the 6th of May, students at SOAS universities begun an encampment on campus holding this institution with its colonial history accountable to its current investments in Israeli apartheid. It is clear that SOAS University is continuing its colonial legacy and tradition by sponsoring an entity that has killed over 40,000 Palestinians within the space of six months. What we are doing here as students is continuing the revolutionary trajectory that was established in Selma, Alabama with the sit-ins, that was established on campus during the Vietnam War era. And as I say this, Israel is prepping for its Rafa invasion imminently. What we're seeing today is absolutely beautiful. It's such an impressive uh, and honorable and inspiring showing of solidarity and organizational power. Um, a bunch of students made this happen in just a handful of days. Um, this university has money invested in British arms manufacturers. It has money invested in Israeli firms. Um, it does its banking at Barclays. We've been struggling with this university for years um, to get them to make good on the education that they claim to provide their students and actually uh, put their money where their mouth is, so to speak. And with the escalating violence that we see in Palestine, we see no choice but to also escalate our efforts to force our university to stop using our tuition money um, to perpetuate further violence in Palestine. We organize this because we've had enough. I mean, we've had enough since what's been happening since October. SOAS is one of the most complicit universities universities. They have ties with Haifa University and in the year 2020 to 2021, the academic year, they renewed a five-year contract with them, knowing well that part of the money we fund for our education goes to the IOF because Haifa University trains colonial officers who go on to fight and commit these awful massacres that we are seeing in Gaza and against our Palestinian brothers and sisters. So we're here to say no. We're here to say that we're staying until we divest funds, until all our our money doesn't go to these horrible, horrible institutions that are causing these massacres. SOAS preaches that decolonization is not a metaphor. I will sit in lectures, we will sit in lectures, and we will listen to the fact that Columbus came in 1492 and that um, he committed all these crimes with the white colonizers, yet we don't apply this logic now with Palestinians and settler colonialism is happening right now at its highest level with the Zionist occupation. So why is it that we are learning stuff that has happened decades ago but we don't apply it to modern day issues that are happening now people need to know the truth about palestine and it is our responsibility as students to decolonize our curriculum because we're not going to let western academia whitewash co-opt or redefine the struggle of the occupied people and we will continue to fight until our until our curriculums show the truth and highlight Palestinian history because it is our responsibility, it is our job to teach the coming generations and we will be the generation to make a change. And you know, a place like this is a place for learning, a place for community building, a place for solidarity. So while one side of this is the learning and, and the, the strong ties that we hope to build um, among all the people that you see behind me, um, the main thing are the demands that we have made of the university. So we will be here un as long as necessary until the university complies.